Hello, Vortex. So I know I talk a lot of shit on here. But hey, at least I'm not on Twitter. Twitter is the most socially irresponsible thing I've ever seen in my life. And I'm not saying that so I can feel better about myself for not using it. I'm saying it because of the obvious impact that it's had on society that has not been the slightest bit positive. Okay? Just because you can use the site to inform the public about certain things, I mean, I understand that. Since the public is, is looking to that site for various reasons, you can use it in a positive way. But I feel like that's so defeating in itself which is why I have such a strong aversion to it I used to think I was just stubborn and, and there were things that I was against just just because you know fuck you you know but I'm against a lot of things because those things are wrong and, and seeing what would they have done to society and seeing what they have done to everybody's brain it's like how could you possibly go along with this shit but you know society has successfully backed themselves into a corner by choice consciously and unconsciously and anybody that's truly conscious is going to get called crazy most naturally so Yeah, because unconscious people don't want to be awakened from slumber, okay? <laughs> That's why people are so mad. Because Donald Trump, like, ripped all these masks off, you know? That's why they insisted on people wearing masks. Even though before COVID, you get kicked out of a restaurant if you were wearing a mask. You get kicked out of a bank if you were wearing a mask. You get kicked out of a gas station if you were wearing a mask because it was suspicious, you know? So obviously, if they can, if they can make the rules and we don't even know who they are or like why we should trust them, then obviously at some point those rules are gonna get really screwy, you know? But what the fuck do I know, right? What the fuck do I know? Just been paying attention since 1985. But whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Remember that shit. It's from the movie Clueless. If you look at that movie from a political lens, it's really brilliant. I need to get that movie on VHS. Are there VHS tapes still? It's very rare that you can find VHS tapes. I managed to find like a fuck ton of Disney movies on VHS. And I know that Disney's bad, but it's part of my childhood, so it's kind of like I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. But those VHS tapes are going to be really fucking... Uh, what's the word? Worth a lot of money? It's not a, that's not a word, but... <laughs> now, they will be worth a lot of money, though, eventually. But I'm not going to sell them anyway, because I don't sell anything, because I hoard. <laughs> I'm like a fucking raccoon. With, with useless crap, not food. <laughs> okay. Well, we gotta go to work. Bye. It was nice chit-chatting.